Hi everyone, welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. My name is Sammy and today is the Try It Tuesday Challenge. So I hope you guys are ready. We're gonna hop right into the DIYs and I'm gonna tell you more about the challenge a little later in the video. Let's get going. All right, our first DIY is inspired by Creations by Favi. I saw this DIY Dollar Tree toolbox and knew I had to at least attempt to recreate it. So you guys, we are gonna start off with these signs from Dollar Tree and I already sanded them down. I'm going to paint all of them front and back in chalk paint. I did three coats on the printed side and one, or sorry, and two coats on the brown sides. So you're gonna have four signs in total, two of each here. And then of course, I'm going to take my mini, uh, plaid chip brush. I'm going to dip that into some antique wax and I am going to distress this down just a little bit. You can totally leave it stark white. You can paint it whatever color you want. This is just for inspiration. So I'm going to do all four of them like this and I do the fronts and I do the backs of them. So once we're done with that, we need to build our base. So I took the larger paint stir sticks and I sized them up against the side of what's gonna be our toolbox. And I went ahead and marked that out. Then I'm gonna grab my table saw. I do have this linked in my Amazon store link down in the description box. And I am just gonna cut all of these. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cut all of these sticks the same length. And then I did take a sanding block to the ends of them. Now taking a uh, what is it, baby wipe and some antique wax, I'm gonna go ahead and stain those. You could do front, back, you could just do the front, it doesn't matter, but I knew I needed to stain them. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up staining them, let those babies dry, and now we're going to attach them. So I am using some um, gel super glue and hot glue. Now I'm using rulers to make sure that all of these are completely straight. Now when I measured these, they fit the sign perfectly. But you know how when you use super, not super glue, hot glue, it adds a little bit in between whatever you're doing. Do you, you guys get what I'm saying? So it actually widened my base just a little bit. And at first I was so frustrated, but I work around it and I'll show you how. So we're gonna finish attaching all of our paint sticks here. Now taking the side first, make sure your image is inside your box. I'm gonna hot glue that. I put a healthy, healthy strand of hot glue on there held it up, it actually held very, very nicely on its own. Then I attached the second side box here. Voila, so easy. Um, and then we are going to attach the ends the same way, just attach, putting hot glue on the ends. And then as you can see, I used some Jenga blocks um, and that was just for added security, extra hold. I put them on the end as well. Now, Fabi actually uses a Dollar Tree sign for the base as well, so make sure you check out her video. All right, of course the wooden dowel I chose to use was too big, so I had to drill holes, so keep that in mind depending on what size dowel you're using. All right, so now these are the Jumbo Popsicle Sticks from Walmart. I am cutting them to size, and then I am gonna do this for eight. So you're going to need eight of these. So all I did was measure it up against our side. And this is what is going to help hide that gap on our corners. So I stained all of them. And then I was like, girl, hello, let's just stain the dowel while you're at it. So I um, put the dowel in the holes and I'm going to go ahead and just mark off where I want it cut. I'm gonna use my table saw again to cut that down and then I'm just going to do the same exact thing, baby wipe, antique wax, and then I was like, you know what? I want some like little end caps basically for my uh, dowel. So I got my sliced wood beads, I got two of them, stained them, and then that's gonna add just a little bit more detail to our, uh, I don't even know if this would be considered a toolbox. Anyways, so now I'm just grabbing some wooded dowels and we're just gonna put those in the corners. That's just for added security on the corners, just to give it a little bit more support. And I do that for all four corners here. All right, 
So now, taking your popsicle sticks, you're gonna put one on the side, and what you're gonna do is put it just a little bit over where um, the gap is, and you're gonna see right here how we cover the gap is we're gonna get that other popsicle stick, um, or craft stick, whatever they're called, and we're gonna butt it up to the one that's right there, and then you're not going to see any gaps on the side at all. So I'm gonna repeat that step for all four of them. Look at how clean that looks. For the other three, and let's go ahead. I'm gonna jump ahead right now. There we go, all done. Now I'm gonna put the um, dowel in there. I'm gonna hot glue those sliced beads on the end. And y'all, I decided to keep this super simple. Um, Creations by Fabi, she put a really cute farmhouse uh, stencil on them and it looked adorable, but I wanted to be able to transition this anywhere in the house, so I didn't want to put anything on it. And look at how big this is in high end. This ended up being about 20 inches long. You can totally carry it by the handle and it just looks so high end. And I couldn't have done this without Creations by Fabi's inspiration. So definitely check out her link down in the description box. I'm gonna leave her channel and the video I found. All right, you guys, that was my first DIY. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out her channel and the video, which I will leave down in the description box. So as you can see, Try It Tuesday is a challenge where other YouTube cre creators can join in and basically create DIYs that they're inspired by, that they've seen from YouTube or Facebook or anywhere where they get their inspiration and to give credit to those people that created those DIYs. I think it's a great way for all of you to look at the playlist, see all these people that we're inspired by as creators, and it'll give you new channels to watch as well as you see who inspires each of us. So make sure, go down in my description box. I'll also leave it in the comments section. Click on the playlist for today and you will see all of the creators that decided to join in today's challenge. So y'all, you know the drill. If you're digging me, if you're digging the channel, if you're digging the DIYs and this challenge, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe and let's get back into the DIYs. All right, my next inspiration comes from Christy Creates DIY. And this was actually what started like my entire video was this piece. I thought it was absolutely genius and needed, needed to recreate it. So I'm gonna show you my take on hers. So we're gonna take three eight by 10 canvases. These are from Dollar Tree. And all I'm doing is taking my craft knife, cutting around the staples, and then ripping off the canvases. So I do have to tell you guys, if it is hard for you to find these at Dollar Tree, go to Hobby Lobby. They have a 10 pack for $12.99. So only $1.20 each and they are way better quality. All right, so now we're taking our jumbo craft sticks again. I'm gonna line those up. Then I'm gonna take my pencil, mark off where I need to cut. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and we are gonna cut all of these jumbo craft sticks. I like grit my teeth when I cut these. I'm like, oh, this is so hard. It hurts my hands. But you know what? I, I do it anyways because, you know, I'm a craftaholic. Why not? I'll do anything for a good craft. Okay. So then I'm taking antique wax, a brush. Isn't it weird how sometimes, like, why didn't I use the baby wipe on this one? Oh, that's why. Because this is burnt umber acrylic paint. Yeah, that's, that's why, girlfriend. Okay. So I covered those and then for our frames, these were really rough, which was totally fine with me. So I paint the insides, the outsides, just paint the entire frame because y'all, these are so uneven that they kind of have gaps and you could see all, it, it was just weird. But uh, when you think of a like hen's nest or uh, what am I trying to think of? You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it's weathered, it's outside, it doesn't look new. So I really liked that the wood was really distressed and roughed on these, so I was all for it. Okay, now taking our jumbo craft sticks, we are going to start hot gluing these to the back. I just put some hot glue on the top and the bottom. Oh, I think I was thinking of chicken coop. 
I think that's what I was thinking of. Duh. Hashtag us, honey. Okay. So we're going to continue these. And then as I'm doing this, somehow it ended up not fitting, but only by like a little bit. So I just take my scissors and it literally cuts like the perfect little strip of wood. It couldn't have worked out more perfectly. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and set that aside or are we? No, I have to paint the back. Y'all, I always tell myself like, oh, you don't need to do the back. And then I have to end up doing the back. I just can't leave it. So I'm just doing a rough paint job. It's supposed to look distressed anyway, so it doesn't need to be pretty, okay? All right, so now taking some wood glue and some hot glue, I'm gonna attach the second frame. So this frame is gonna be our middle piece here, okay? All right. Easy peasy, right? Then taking some white. I didn't like how brown it was, so I needed to add something to the back. All right, I tried stencils, didn't work. Needless to say, we're gonna use some vinyl later. All right, so now I'm taking some raffia and I'm kind of pulling, first I'm gonna cut it, then I pull it apart to give me some like skinnier pieces because it was just too thick, too chunky. I didn't like it. So. We do that and I'm doing this first before making my vinyl decal because I want to know like how far up the raffia is gonna go. So you can see I'm pushing it down and then I'm gonna get my ruler. Okay, we go make it. I got this design from Cricut's Design Space and there we go, farm fresh eggs. Voila, very easy. I love the paneled looking background. All right, now let's add our accessories. Let's accessorize her. Okay, so there is our raffia. Now, these eggs, y'all, I got these at Hobby Lobby for $1.99, and they weren't on sale. Don't judge me. I really wanted them, and they were just the perfect color. Now, keep in mind, you guys, uh, Christie's has the actual size eggs from, like, Dollar Tree, like, real size eggs, so she has to use four canvases for her. So keep that in mind if you want to use larger eggs. Um, these are much, much smaller than those eggs. So I only had to use three frames. So I'm going to go ahead and add, I believe just one more egg. Look at how perfect these color eggs are. Like, ah, uh, they're everything. Okay. So after we're done with that, you guys, what was genius was she got these rug grippers, okay? And we're gonna use this as chicken wire. So all I do is take my craft knife, a frame, measure it out, cut it out. Then I take Hammered by rust -Oleum and spray paint mine. Well, let me tell y'all, this is so sticky, like sticky, icky, icky, okay? And it didn't help that I put spray paint over it. Um, she used chalk paint on hers, so I don't know if that's any difference, but you're gonna hot glue this all the way around, but just make sure you're pulling on that um, on that gripper because you want this to be tight. You don't want it to be sagging down into your frame. I'm just cutting the excess off here with my Cricut scissors. I'm gonna do another strand on the bottom just to show you. We need to be hot gluing. You need to be pulling it tight and you're gonna follow this all the way around. And you could already see that it looks like chicken wire. And look, go watch Christy's video because she did something different with her chicken wire. So to find out what she did, make sure to go watch. And you guys, we put our last frame on and then I am going to get some more light chalk paint. Kind of distress the edges. At first I thought I was gonna use crackle medium, but the frames were so rough that putting this white paint already made it look like chipped paint that it's been out on the farm for a long time. And I love it and I am so happy that Chrissy came up with this because I think a lot of people will really appreciate it and I, I absolutely love it. So of course I have to finish the back, right, right, okay. So this is what it looks like, farm fresh eggs. I think it just looks so dang good like organic like it just came from outside i love this thank you chrissy creates diy for doing this and inspiring me her links will be down in the description box all right you guys my co-host is the redheaded scrapper she is absolutely amazing she has so much knowledge about crafting and i learn something new every time I watch her channel, whether that be about a new product, a new method. I mean, 
she, you need to check her out. I never, I never lead you in the wrong direction. Her link for her channel and for today's um, video will be down in my description box. So make sure you take the time to check her out. I promise you won't be disappointed. All right, my next one is from Chalk It Up Fancy, and they're actually really big on Facebook, and I saw this and was like, oh, this is so gorgeous. I need to try and make it. So I am taking a Christmas tag signed from Dollar Tree. Keep in mind the Christmas tags are a lot smaller than the Valentine's Day tags that they put out. So I am just going to take plaster, got to rub my petroleum jelly because it literally took me like two minutes to try and get the lid off. All right, now I'm just spritzing that with water to make it move a little bit more easily. I'm going to coat this how many times? One time, two times, don't know. One time. One time. Hit me, baby, one more time. Okay, and then so I think it was the Distress Princess DIY that I got this from and I didn't have a tea towel that's what chalk it up fancy uses I didn't have a tea towel and i didn't want to cut an image out of paper so um the diy uh distress princess she prints an image on to tissue paper and i was like that is genius i'm gonna do that so i designed this in canva i will have a free link for you down in the description box to print that yourself and i am taking the tissue paper mod podge and then patting it down if it has wrinkles the more wrinkles the better y'all like it's just going to make it look so much more distressed and awesome so as you can see the tissue paper doesn't go all the way up so i am just going to sorry about my forehead i i need to work on the angles okay so um i'm just going to grab another piece of tissue paper and don't worry because like the lines don't show or anything it blends right in so i Put some more tissue paper on. Look at how seamless it looks, you guys. It looked so good. I'm gonna be using this tissue paper hack like on everything, I swear. And then I'm gonna go ahead and Mod Podge over the entire thing once the tissue paper dries. Now, yeah, girl, cut that off. Don't make your life hard. Now take it a standing block, go in downward motions, get all that excess off. Now I am just taking antique wax and I am patting the side so i'm not distressing it i'm not like doing brush strokes i am just kind of patting this stencil brush onto our tag sign to give it a more rusted look to it and then i also kind of go inside the sign you guys look at that image it looks so good and can you believe that's like it looks like it was printed on to the sign like that does not look like tissue paper. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I love it. Okay. So after you're done resting this out or doing whatever you want to do to it, we are going to take this welcome. And at first I painted the welcome as well, because I thought I was going to use it, but I go ahead. This is rich black by folk art chalk paint. And again, I am just like stippling this on there, just kind of pouncing it on the more tin that shows through the better. I just wasn't filling the uh, like teal color, the minty color that was on there. So I decided to cover the entire thing up. Then I decided I don't want the welcome. So I get my wire cutters and I'm using my muscles here. All right, like that thing was hard. And it had two little pieces from the stand that didn't want to come off, like not at all. So I cut it down as far as I could and then with the little pieces that were left on there, I was able to like fit them through the hole on the sign, kind of complicated, but I was able to fit them in there. And then I just had to like douse it with hot glue, like douse it, you know, like make it rain on that sign with hot glue. Then I just put a popsicle stick up top just to make sure that it doesn't come out. Now I'm taking a piece of twine and this is going to be our hanger. So put that on both sides. Then I take another popsicle stick just for added security because the windmill adds a little bit of weight here. And of course, we're going to cover the back. Who do you think I am? And I cut it out. Voila. I hot glue it on. And now you don't have to see that janky back piece. No, you don't. And look at 
how gorgeous our sign turned out. Look at this. Chalk it up, Fancy. Thank you so much for the inspiration. I love the way this came out. I really love that you can get inspiration from people's creations and make them your very own. That is what is so amazing about crafting. Okay, so this is Four Quarters Crafts. This is Melissa's. Y'all, I got a craft crush on that woman. I, I tell you, I have been binge watching her stuff. You need to go to her channel. All right, so we're taking these pieces of wood from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna take them outside and we are gonna sand them out and cut them. But before, we need to measure it out. So I am going to cut these into two and a half inch blocks. There will be a little excess off of the side and we're gonna cut that off, all right? So let's go in the garage, let's come back. Bam, there she is. Okay, so then I'm going to clean these off with some baby wipes. Uh, they sanded off pretty well. Then taking that rich black, I am taking these wood letters from Dollar Tree. They fit absolutely perfect. And I am gonna paint those black. We're gonna paint our wood piece entirely black, black, the top, the bottom, the sides, everything. Just paint it all black here, okay? So then after we're done painting all of these pieces black, we are going to flip our parchment paper around, take our blocks. Now, I did two coats of white on this side, the brown side, and then I coated the rest of it with one coat of white. And I know the other side was white, but it had a glossy finish, wasn't digging it, so I decided to paint over that as well. So once that is all dry, we are gonna get our wooden letters. Now, Melissa uses, I forget, they're like almost like tile looking pieces she got from Dollar Tree and she uses the black stickers from Dollar Tree. So make sure to watch her video to see her take on this. So I'm just using my detail gun. I am trying to get them as centered as possible. And oh my gosh, I just love the way this turned out. And it looks so high end because of these, the wood signs from Dollar Tree, like they're so heavy. I love it. And you can make this reversible too. I just didn't have enough time to be honest. Okay, so now I'm taking antique wax and I wanted to add a little dimension. So I decided to distress around the sides. And of course, you don't have to do that at all. You can leave it vibrant just like this, but I really wanted to tie this into all my other DIYs and I really thought it made the letters pop. So after we are done with that, you guys are done. If you wanna make it reversible, possibilities are endless. But look at how beautiful this came out. So thank you, Melissa, from Four Quarters Crafts because I really enjoyed making it. It was so easy to make. And y'all, thank you so much for being here with me. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and make sure to check out the playlist down in the description box. And I'm gonna link it in comments for you as well. I hope you have a good week and I will be back here Thursday with a Dollar Tree haul. Hank, you literally have the hot glue gun on top of your back. Ay, 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 my dog. Only my dog. Okay, come on. I know. It's danger dog. Come on. It's a little bit more pink. Does anybody still do that anymore? I do. Okay. I don't think it's that noticeable. That's fine. Eight. It was that light. And that's what was doing it the last time. Lipstick, you good to go, girlfriend. Check one, check one. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. This is where you, you're. It is what it is, right? Okay. <laughs>